uh, the bouncer. I love this game. I freaking love this. Basically, like an RPG fighting game, kind of like Final Fight, but like you could level up and stuff. I th I think this was, this was like a like kind of like a, a demo game where they could like you know figure things out and stuff. For a certain game, I just can't remember, but I'm pretty sure it was this was like a test out game kind of. But this was like one of the first PS2 games. Absolutely loved it, but it was way too short. <laughs> way too short. The bouncer. Um, Fear One. Fear, you know the original Fear. Got it. Scary. You know another action sort of a horror game, but like first person view. Got that. Um, Dawn of Mana, which I don't really see anybody had this game, so I would assume this is rare. But I got that. Um, it's like a, yeah, it's it's like a action adventure game with like RPG elements where you level up and stuff. You know, basically, I guess maybe the the sequel to the, to the um the I don't, I don't Secret of Mana for the Super Nintendo, but I got the PS tip, you know, the, the remake or reboot or whatever for it for the PS2. Olden Spear, one of the freaking best games ever made by Atlas. I'd Oh, you can also get this off the PSN store for like ten dollars, and I'd really recommend it because it's definitely one of the best games ever made from from, from Atlas, maybe in general. It's like a side scroller, beautiful, beautiful art style. Um, it's like a side scroller art light RPG game action, but story's really good. The characters are really good. I, I really would recommend it. Really good game. Um. Dark Cloud 2, another classic um, PS2 game. Again, like a, another uh, action adventure game with like light RPG. I never beat it, so with light RPG elements. But a lot of old, a lot of people would say this is like one of the best PS2 games. So yeah, <laughs> Samurai Shampoo, um, something. Oh. I don't know, Samurai Shampoo though for the PS2, based off the anime, so I, I had to get it. I, so, I, I like the anime, so I had to get it, so I got that. Uh, the original Dead to Rights, and Dead to Rights 2. Um, Dead to Rights 2, definitely a classic. A really good story, a really good care. Everything about this game is really good. Uh, Dead to Rights 2, not as good as the first one, but still a good game. It just, it, it doesn't live up to the, the original, but still a really good game. Um, um, the original nin Ninja Gaiden Sigma, you know, the, the original one where they, how they got poured over the, to the, um, you know, the original Ninja Gaiden, they got Ninja Gaiden Black, and then they got Nin Ninja Gaiden Sigma. This is the original one for Ninja Gaiden 1 for the PS3. I think this was the same one as in Ninja Gaiden 2. I don't know, I don't remember, I haven't played Ninja Gaiden Sigma 1, but I got that. And definitely one of the harder Platinums to get, it's like a 9, 9.5. And I got, I got the collector ed edition, so I got the DVD, I think. Um, I already talked about this, the original Darkness. A lot more dark. I put it in the original case. Uh, a lot more darker and more mature and grittier compared to Darkness 2's um, com comic book feel. But good game nonetheless. Uh, Shining Force Neo, which I believe this is. Yeah, it's like a, probably a sequel to the Shining Force game for the Sega Genesis, which are classics. I enjoyed this game. I never beat it, but I enjoyed it. And if I remember correctly, this is another action RPG game, but I enjoyed it. Um, Dungeon, or not, Dragon Quest Eight. Yeah, Dragon Quest Eight. Um, a, an old school RPG where it's like first person, well not in, I think the fights are like in first person. Kind of like, um, old school dungeon crawler games where you go through dungeons and it's like all first person. But it's another RPG game, classic RPG game. Got that. Never, I haven't really played it that much. I should, but I haven't. And, um... Shin Megami Tensei Persona 3. The original one. 
I basically started Persona 3 where it got really popular. Because before Persona 1 and 2 came out, or Persona 3 came out, the Persona games weren't really mainstreamed. So, and after Persona 3 um, came out, you know, Persona 3 and 4 blew up, so Persona 3 helped uh, the Persona games get mainstream and more popular and stuff. <clears throat> so I got that. Uh, Shadow Hearts from a, new, from a New World. I absolutely love the original, so I had to get it. Another RPG game. A really underrated RPG series, which is the Shadow Heart, Shadow Hearts. I'd really recommend for people that really want a good RPG, get the Shadow Hearts games for the PS2. They're really good. And, um... The, uh... The soundtrack for Shin Megami Tensei Persona 3. Um... I think Elta Radius 2, or something, I can't really pronounce it because it's backwards. Um, but it's, just, it's another RPG game with Alchemy. I, ha I haven't really played it, so I can't really tell you that much about it. Um, this one I can't, like, see, but maybe you can. But this is like another RPG game. I didn't really play it that much. But, you know, I got it. Because it's made by Atlas. It's like one of my favorite companies. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like it's like Magna Carta Tales of Blood. I, th I think that's how you say it. But I got that. Uh, the classic Zone of, Ender ga Zone of Ender games. Which people are begging for a sequel for. Which I th might happen. But it's basically a, a mat game, so but yeah, it's, it's like clicking like the taste. But I got it and I enjoy it. I haven't beat it yet, but I enjoy it. Uh, the original Yakuza, where uh, only the original Yakuza has English voice acting, which is really bad. But I got the original Yakuza, I fell in love with the series. So yeah, not much can be said since I have like every Yakuza game. So since so I showed you three and four, mother. My, uh, th th or yeah, 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 I showed you two, three, and four in other collections, so yeah, I, I obviously got the original, really good game, besides the voice acting, and there's no, um, there's no uh, option to go in Japanese for Yakuza 1, it's English only, A after Yakuza 1 came out, two, three, and four, and Dead Souls only have Japanese voice acting, which I can say is, is a must, because it's, it's, it's a lot better game in, in its native tongue. Either way, this is in probably another underrated game, really good game. Um, Elder Scrolls IV, The Oblivion, and I'll be honest, I haven't even really played this game at all. Played like an hour, maybe like 20 minutes, and really never played it again. But I know this is like a classic and, you know, a must-own for PS3 or Xbox or whatever, but I got that. Wall of Rolls, which is another underrated survival horror game from Atlas. This is actually pretty dark and mature, but it can be pretty easy because, um, you have this dog with you the whole time and basically shows you what to do and where to go and stuff, so it's actually pretty easy, but definitely underrated. It's, it's, really, it's a really good sort of a horror game. Um, Final Fantasy Anthology, one, yeah, uh, I think it's had Final Fantasy VI and Chrono Trigger, I'm not sure. I forget what Final Fantasy games is had in it, because I haven't played it. I think it's like 3 or 4 or something, 6, with Chrono Trigger in it, something like that. I think it's Final Fantasy 6 and Chrono Trigger, so, but I got that. Um, oh, it says right here. Final, I can't read them, I think this is Final Fantasy 6, but I got that. And we'll continue in the next video.